Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the Turbo Shopify theme mega menu. Today we're going to take a look at this feature, this menu that you see at the top of the page. It will reappear as we scroll down the page as it's a sticky header. And this feature will appear on all pages of the site. It's a common feature to all of the pages. We're going to talk about two different topics when it comes to creating your menu. First, how you can design the top level of your menu in relation to the logo that appears in the header. And then we're going to talk about how you can make your menu mega by structuring a hierarchy of menus in the navigation settings. So we're going to walk through each of those steps. Just in case you haven't seen how to configure a menu on Shopify, here we are on the Shopify admin panel. To create a menu, you'd go to Online Store, Navigation. And here in Navigation is where all of the menus are created. You can see we already have some created for my example, but all you would need to do is go Add Menu. You title the menu the way that you choose. Then you title the links and select the destinations for the links. And the destinations will all be predetermined based on the collections and products, pages, blog posts that you already have added on the Shopify platform. So here we are on the Shopify admin panel. I'd like to show you the built-in customized theme settings associated with the top level of the menu first. So I've headed into Online Store, Themes, then into Customize Theme. Here in Customize Theme, we're going to head into the header settings. And here we have a whole slew of header settings. These settings are covered briefly in the home page video about the Turbo theme. So if there's anything that I'm not covering here now, uh, you can check out that video and you'll probably get some more details. But right now we're going to talk specifically about how you can configure the top level of this menu. So there's already a logo implemented here. It's white, so you can't really see it here in the settings. But here it is in the theme. I've stolen it from the demo of the Turbo theme. And now there are five settings within these header settings that we're going to be talking about. And we're going to sh I'm going to show you the different combinations of settings and the design that that can render. The five settings are the logo position, which can be center or left, followed by these two menu settings, the main menu setting and the secondary menu setting. Then we have the menu position, which can be inline or under the logo, and then finally, the menu alignment, which can be left, center, or right. So taking a look at these five settings, there are various combinations that you could come up with, but here are our eight favorite. And we're going to take a look at the examples, starting with the ones where the logo is aligned to the left. In these first two examples, we have the menu in line with the logo. And then in the third example, we have it under the logo. And you can see the various menu alignment settings there. Here we have some center-aligned logos and various positions for the menu, whether it's inline, under, and we have the various alignments. You can just copy the settings that we have here on the right to achieve the same format. And here are my favorite, the split design, where we've got a menu on the left and a menu on the right by configuring both a main menu and a secondary menu, setting the logo position to center, and setting the menu alignment to either center or left. For the second part of this video, I'd like to talk about the Mega Menu. Now, the reasons that you'd want to use a Mega Menu are expressed beautifully in this blog post that we recently put up, where you can use it to break down all the various collections of your shop, leaving them all accessible right from the introduction, right from when the shopper lands in the shop and they hover over that link. Right in front of them are links to all of the collections, whether it's a master collection like men, or whether it's a, a subsequent collection, like men's tops or men's pants. You could even go and have the men, women, and children as top-level links in the main menu, followed by their own sections. So you can do this for your blog posts, you can do it for your page content. It's an amazing way of organizing all of this content, and then allowing for easy navigation for your shoppers, so that they can get either to the information they're looking for, or better yet, the product that they're looking for. I'd like to point you to this support article first so that you can follow along. I'm going to paste the link in the description. But as we scroll down here, this image really holds the secret. And I'm going to show you how I've done that on my shop. But the secret is to name a subsequent menu with the same name as a link that's in a parent menu. As you repeat this process, the hierarchy of the mega menu is created. So let's take a look at how that appears on my demo shop. 
So here are all of my menus. Here is my main menu, which features a shop link. Following along from there, we've got a shop menu. So we've already started to create our drop-down menu. Then to repeat that process, we've got a link in the shop menu called men's, and we have gone ahead and subsequently named another menu men's. And so those links will appear then within that section of the menu. This is what it looks like on the store. So as I hover over shop, there's that men's menu. So here's that first menu, men's, women's, kids, appearing horizontally, then with the men's menu here showing up vertically. And as you can guess, there are also the women's and the kids menus here, named in a way that will follow this hierarchy structure. So I encourage you to jump over to outofthesandbox.com and check out this blog post, or to the support center and check out this support article. And if you hit any snags or had any questions, go ahead and search for your question in the support center, or you can head on over to outofthesandbox.com and use the contact us form to get in touch. Thank you very much for joining me for this helpful, friendly walkthrough video. My name is Sean Campbell. Take care.